We're back in the Diet Burble kitchen and this afternoon I'm going to show you how to make the protein refuel pancakes from C1. So I'm not going to go into the details of the recipe because you'll have that in your plan. But in my Nutri Ninja that I've got here, I've got all of my ingredients weighed out and I'm going to show you step by step what I do to reproduce my pancakes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a good blitz. So when you come back, you're going to see the consistency. <laughs> Okay, so my batter's been uh, on the ultra blend mode of my Nutri Ninja and I am pretty happy with the consistency. So I'm actually gonna make these into waffles because this is a lovely batter consistency for a waffle iron. So I'm just gonna get my waffle iron out and we're gonna get on. Okay, so this is my waffle iron. It's nothing fancy, as you can see, it just sits on my hob. I bought this from Amazon a little while ago. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat it with a little bit of my coconut oil and I've, all I've done is I've melted it in this little bowl. Uh, I'm just going to use a pastry brush just to coat the plates because obviously you don't want your waffles to stick. The, the one complaint that I see on the Facebook groups is that people's waffles have stuck to the waffle line so you really do need to grease your pans really well. So I've actually got this on a, a low heat. And I'm just going to pour on my batter now. Now, you don't want to pour too much on, but then again, you don't want to pour too little on. You've got to figure out sort of a happy medium. Okay, so I think that's enough. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the lid and I'm going to leave it. That's the trick to waffles, you just have to leave them. So I'm gonna leave these for a few minutes as I would normally, and then we'll come back to them, I can show you what you're gonna look out for. Okay, so these waffles have been cooking now for about, I'd say two minutes, so I'm just gonna lift the lid. Okay, well that's a good sign, nothing has stuck. So I'm just gonna turn them around just to brown the second side. So, just like that. And I'm just gonna leave them for a few minutes, and uh, this batch should be done. Okay, so it's been about two minutes since I flipped the waffle iron. So we just have a quick look. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but the waffle is stuck to the top of the waffle iron, which is fine. So all I've got is a palette knife. Nothing too exciting. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently, and I mean gently, prise this. Here we go. And that was really quick to cook. It took about four minutes in total. Um, it's a lovely colour. This is actually a chocolate waffle. Um, so let me just grab the plate and let's set these to one side and we'll get the next batch going. So I'm just going to repeat the process. So again, just going to iron, iron. I'm just going to oil the waffle iron on, on both plates. Okay, so that's done. Again, that's just with my coconut allowance from the plan. And let's just pour in the batter. Okay, I think that is enough. I think I might have enough just there for one more. I'm going to close the lid for a couple of minutes and we'll be back. Okay, we're about a minute or so in. I'm just going to have a sneaky, sneaky peek. And if you can see, it's still quite wet on top. Um, it's still quite shiny, I think you can see. But on this side here, there are some little holes appearing. Um, and that's what you'd be looking for if you were making pancakes before you flip them. So it's not quite ready. This is still a little bit tacky. Um, so we're just gonna leave it for another minute or so, and then we should be okay to turn it over as before. Okay, so it's been another minute. Um, so let's have a quick look. Okay, so the batter seems to have dried out a little bit more. Um, yeah, it, it feels like it's set. So I'm gonna turn this, just around the second side. Another two minutes and this batch should be done as well. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, so let's have a quick look. Yeah, so I'm just gonna prise these off the top. It's, you really need very little effort if you've left it long enough to cook. And there you go, so we've got our second ones made. So I'll just quickly take these off without burning myself. I think I've got just enough mix 
to make one final waffle so let's quickly get that on no sense in mick wasting your batter this one might be a little on the skinny side but it's not a bad thing they are supposed to be lean after all so let's just leave that and we'll be back okay so just time to check on these ones and i think that looks fine so give it a final flip a final two minutes and I think we're all done okay so I, I think we're all good to go um oh okay that's great so that's that's come away from the pan so let me just remove that from the waffle iron without burning myself okay so that's done let me just turn the hob off Okay, so I hope you can see that I've got a lovely stack of waffles um probably took me about 10 minutes in total to make so I made two and a half batches nothing stuck to the pan they're chocolate flavored the recipes from your plan and it was really simple to make so I hope you'll give these a go and thank you very much for watching